in this web series i would be talking about a famous interview question that is nut and bolt problem so this problem has been asked by many company during their interview so now let us jump to the problem statement so why this problem statement is called nut and bolt problem so because every nut there is a bolt and for every bolt there is a nut so in this problem statement we have been given n nuts of different sizes and n bolt of different sizes such that there is for every nut there is a bolt and for every bolt there is a nut so our task is to map every nut with their bolt so there there should be one to one mapping between nut and bolt but there is a condition such that uh, no two nut or no two bolt can be compared among themselves so we can only compare bolt with nut and nut with bolt to see which one is bigger and which one is smaller so uh, we are being given uh, with n number of nuts and uh, every nut is of uh, some unique symbol so that uh, you can uh, better identify them and uh, similarly for bolt bolt are of uh, n numbers and they are being given a unique symbol so that uh, you can uh, identify them uh, uniquely so what we need to so uh, for every nut there is a bolt so we need to uh, map every nut with their bolt so this is how you, you should uh, create a mapping among them uh, mo mapping between them and uh, if uh, we have been given an uh, input of uh, such type then uh, this is what the output uh, that uh, we are uh, looking forward okay so if we are being given uh, with n number of nut uh, so over here i i have given a special symbol to each and every nut so that you can identify them uniquely and suppose uh, similarly if we are being given n bolt uh, and i have given uh, the each bolt a unique symbol so that you can identify them uniquely so if we are given n nuts and n bolt and as i have said you earlier for every nut there is a bolt and for every bolt there is a nut so we need to create one to one mapping between uh, these two such that we shouldn't compare two nut among themselves or two bolt among themselves but we are allowed to compare nut and bolt with each other so if we are been given a uh, input of such type of uh, nuts and bolts uh, so we have uh, been expected to give an expected output of such type where this belongs to nut and where this belongs to bolts so uh, what is the first step that uh, we should take uh, in order to uh, solve this question so if suppose there are n bolts and uh, for b it mean bolts and for n it mean it mean nuts so if i compare one bolt with uh, other one and or suppose uh, for bolt number 1 i compared it with nut 1 nut 2 nut 3 nut 4 and nut n so in order to find its pair so there are add comparison for one one bolt and there are n such bolts so for n bolt there there would be n square comparison so it's it's a brute force approach and its time complexity is order of n square so it not it is not one of the most efficient approach now uh, we will take a look onto a more better approach that is quick short way so how we will be approaching towards the quick short way so you must have seen how quick short works so suppose if suppose this is a an array given to you we take last element as pi, pi, pi byte and what we do try to do is that we try to short uh, the uh, the side that belongs to the half of the side that is smaller than this 70 and the rest half of the side that is greater than 70 so over here you can see that what i have done is that i have taken it as a pi byte and i have shifted all the elements that are smaller than this uh, to the left side and uh, which are greater than this to this side so now i will take 50 and 80 as as their pi byte and i will uh, try to solve them recursively in this way uh, our uh, array would be sorted so before jumping to the quick short way it is uh, much more better that uh, you should uh, know how quick short works so this is how our algorithm will work in bolt and nuts so this algorithm first performs a partition by picking the last element of the bolt array as pi byte so we take the last element of the bolt as pi byte and we try to compare it with nut so for this there should be one mapping so i found it over here and i will try to recursively divide into two part such that when i solve the first half of the part and when i solve the second half of the part recursively i get the best optimal answer 
so i now we apply the partition recursively on the left as well as on the right sub array of bolt and nut so as you all know that quick shot average time complexity is n log n and we are applying a partition algorithm on both nut and bolt so it will be 2 into n log n so if 2 is a constant so our average time complexity will be n log n that is better than the average time complexity of the brute force approach hello everyone so this is our code so in the main uh, in the main method uh, or in the driver method uh, so i have given an, uh, an array of nut and an array of bolt and uh, over here i have called our match pair so this is our uh, main uh, function from where our main business logic has been implemented so it works similarly as of quick shot but the thing is that i am passing two arrays uh, in quick shot we pass only one array and we compare it among themselves but over here i am comparing I am taking the pivot of one and uh, sorting an array of other and after that I am taking uh, the element of the sorted one uh, as a pivot and sorting the uh, other one. So over here uh, what I have done is that I have take choose the last character of the bolt array uh, for nut partition. So for nut partition I have taken the last element of the bolt and uh, I uh, and over here uh, this is the uh, the position uh, from uh, over where uh, uh, the last uh, the the element has been sorted out so after this we use so now using the partition of nut choose that for bold partition so now we have a pivot of nut so we are taking the pivot from the nut and we are now partitioning uh, partitioning uh, the array of bold again uh, i am uh, calling match pair for uh, the first half and for the next half again i am uh, calling the match pair so in this way i am recursively uh, solving it out so this is the partition algorithm so this works same as uh, what the quick and uh, what happens in the quick shot and uh, over here uh, we are printing out so this is the uh, uh, function uh, for uh, printing out our array that's all i hope you have got it uh, got how the business logic of nut and bolt happens uh, thank you